Hi, I'm Pete from RC Car Action Magazine, and today we're talking about Traxxas ID charging technology. But before we talk about the ID tech, let's look at a standard nickel metal LiPo charger. And we can do that with this Traxxas Easy Peak Plus 6 amp. Now, as you're probably familiar with, we have a separate balance board to plug the LiPo into so we can balance charge the battery. We also have a separate plug to plug the battery into. And with this charger, we have to tell it what kind of battery we have, whether it's a LiPo or nickel metal, and we have to select the amp rate, anywhere up to 6 amps with this charger, so maybe 1.2 amps for a 1200 milliamp pack or 6 amps for a 6000 milliamp pack. But we have to tell the charger if it's, a, if it's a LiPo, nickel metal, and what amp rate we want to choose. With ID charging, we don't have to do any of that anymore. In fact, you will see that there isn't any kind of a balance plug or a separate wire for the battery pack. Instead, it works with Traxxas ID batteries and this unique plug, which is backwards compatible with older Traxxas plugs, to charge the battery without any programming required. You just plug the battery in, and the charger will recognize that we've got a LiPo battery pack. It's going to balance charge it, or we can choose a fast or a storage mode, and it's set the amp rate for 4 amps. All we have to do is press the start button to begin charging. As you can see, the pack begins charging. LEDs indicate charge status. Traxxas also has the EZP dual ID charger that will let you charge two batteries at once, regardless of chemistry type. With the dual charger, there's a 4 amp maximum per battery when charging two packs simultaneously. Or if you want to charge one battery, you can switch it to high output mode and have up to 8 amps of charging capability. Now in dual battery, battery mode, we've got a nickel metal hydride pack on one side and a LiPo pack on this side here. And the, pack, and the charger has automatically detected that we have a nickel metal and it's going to charge it at 2 amps, which is great for a 1200 milliamp battery. On this side, LiPo, balanced charging at 4 amps. Again, all we have to do is hit the start button and charging will begin. So with the EZP Plus ID chargers, you don't have to worry about telling the charger that you have a LiPo or a nickel metal. You don't have to worry about setting the amp rate. It does it for you automatically, which is very handy just for convenience for anyone, even if you know about batteries, but it's especially helpful for someone who doesn't understand LiPo and nickel metal hydride battery technology. You want to get a, let a younger person charge packs with their Stampede or Slash. It's easy to do. They plug in, they hit the start button, and you can feel safe knowing that they're going to have the correct capacity and the correct chemistry type set automatically by the charger. Now let's say you've got an older Traxxas battery. This pack has the older style connector and a separate balance plug. You can still charge these with an ID charger. All you have to do is pop off this cover here, and you'll see that there are balance ports underneath. So we can plug our pack in. It's also important to note that the older style plug is backwards compatible with the new style ID plugs, so you don't need to change up any batteries or use adapters. Now with the battery plugged in, I have to enter manual mode, and I'll do that by holding the two buttons together. And the charger has already set itself to LiPo, but I could select nickel metal if I needed, and it set itself for balanced charging. So all I need to do now is set the amp rate using this button here. And it's a 4,000 milliamp pack, so I'll go ahead and choose a 4 amp charge rate. With that set, I just hold down the button, and when the LED goes solid, charging is underway. With an ID charger, you can charge any type of Traxxas, LiPo, or nickel metal hydride battery, whether it's ID or not. And with ID packs, you have the convenience of no hassle charging. Just plug the pack in, press the start button, and you're underway with the correct settings for capacity and battery type. For RC Car Action, I'm Pete, and I'll see you next time.